welcome to the first episode ever of the Fire Rock Music Group Showcase. And on the very first episode, we have with us lead singer, keyboardist, extraordinaire, Nick Z. Marino from the NZM Band. Welcome to the show um, today, Nick. And of course, um, many people know you from all, for your many years of um, touring with Ingsy Malmsteen. But let's talk about NZM today. You have a new video that's going to premiere um, on Tuesday, the 18th. So tell us about the new video. First of all, what's the song? That you shot the video for. Uh, hi everybody. Uh, I'm really thrilled to be on the on the on the show again. Um, yeah, the name of the song is No Innocence, and uh, the single is going to schedule to come out tomorrow. Wow. Uh, and the video, uh, I believe, uh, on June 18th, which is Tuesday at noon. Being the president of the record company, why don't you share with everybody, Tom, um, where they'll be able to see the video on Tuesday when it premieres? Okay, so it's going to be on Fire Rock Music TV, plus it's going to be on Nick's own YouTube page and stuff. But the main thing is that I'd, I'd like to ask Nick about the making of the video. Nick, why don't you talk about how you made this video? I thought it was really cool. You know, we, we, we did on a two locations, one in the um, very famous uh, rock place in South Florida, Premier Billiards Club, uh, which unfortunately closed several days after we, we, we shot the video. It's open for 27 or 30 years and and <laughs> so we were all like the last uh, uh band there to to actually do something yeah what, what's the concept what's um kind of is there a story to the video yeah um basically it's um it's just like a little little observation of the the time we are living in with uh surrounded with uh with the mainstream media and um, and uh, social media, uh, you know, it's like a too much and and uh, influencing our our thoughts and basically our way of living. It's it's kind of too much, you know. If you compare with the innocent day before, yeah. you know, in the in the eighties and nineties, it's like everybody is like basically, um, you know, uh, in a, some kind of control of the social media and and information. You know, so basically, that's what this video is all about. The song is all about. I mean, what was that like to have so much control over um, the making of this video, as opposed to having somebody kind of come in and help you create it? Um, well, you're you're right. So you know, there's few aspects. I was I was talking more most uh, mostly about mainstream media. You know, yeah. The you know, uh, people became like a polarized. I don't want to go to politics because no, I, no, no. Yeah. You know, I'm not. But but it's obviously start start bothering me because I have some friends that's like a, people are polarized because of that you know. But uh, on the other hand, you know, and I think we should we should all have some awareness, you know, of, of that. Just that's that's all, you know. And we also have with us today, Nick um, Lisa Lex, who's the owner of Catacris TV. Um, Lisa Lex, um, I know you had a chance to check out the video. Do you have anything you'd like to ask, Nick? No, I just, like you were saying, I like how there was a lot of movement going on with this video. And I think as people watch this video, they're going to really see that it was done really well. And that the actual over, uh, it wasn't overdone and it wasn't underdone. It's something that just worked for what we're talking about. Like he said, uh, the whole social media stuff and the news and all these different outlets that are out there. And, you know, being a video editor myself and stuff, you know, I always look at everything and I always say, hey, that, that's actually pretty cool. And I think some people are going to agree with that. Uh, when they do that. So, yeah, I think that it's a killer song. I think people are going to really like this song. Um, and that's about all I got to say. Mm -hmm. yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> that's a good observation. Mm -hmm.
So let me ask you, Tom, being the record company president, how involved were you in the um, music video? I mean, did you not see it until it was done or um, did you see some edits along the way as he was making I've it? Seen, I think I've seen 30 edits. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he was great. Oh, yeah. I, to <laughs> I tortured him with like, oh, check this yeah. out. Oh, no, no, no. This guy <laughs> yeah. just like next He month. kept sending it to yeah. me and I was like, I like this. I like it. Well, maybe we change this. You know, he was, he's been yeah. fantastic. Of course, of course. Yeah. Well, here, here's something I want. I think we should get out there. Let's show the. Do you have the vinyl right there? You just got your vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he hired Tom. Tom, who you hired to do this? Who did the Mark Lopes from Metal Church did the album cover for him? Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So we yeah. had Mark brought in there. We That's the, pro, the front page. This is the, the back page, the picture of the band. I don't know how much you can yeah. see. Wow. Yeah, it, there's, yeah. also, there's also CD. CD yeah, with CD. So, yeah, yep, so um, it's coming out of vinyl, CD, and digital. So the other yeah. thing I want you to do, Nick, can you name the guys that are in your band that played on this record for us? Just tell us who played on it, who produced it. You know, we know Mark did the artwork for you. Um, so why don't we talk about the guys that played and produced and stuff? Sure. Um, well, it's 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 kind of uh, it's it's a lot of people involved actually. You yeah. know, uh, like I already mentioned, the guitar player is Denver Cooper. Even though I had two other guitarists. The, on the very first album, there was a uh, uh, original guitarist was Scott Mygon, um, who's a dear friend of mine. But you know, um, it, it just went different ways. Uh, and then uh, on the album Internal Fire in 2014, there was a uh, uh, Gear who is who has his own band right now. And uh, basically, it was just for one album. And then since that time, I have Denver Cooper on guitar. Um, he also, uh, Denver also played most of the bass, bass guitars. Oh, okay. The album. Nice. But there are certain songs that were done like 10 years, 15 years ago, with, 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 which I listed, you know, there was uh, two other guitar, uh, bass players. And um, uh, the drums, the new drummer, Kevin, Kevin who also plays with Ingrid, he actually played only one song, No Innocence. He's only on that one. Every other song, uh, except uh, "Rise Above," was uh, and um, and um, "The End of Days," were played by uh, Alain Candia. He's a, a Cuban drummer, excellent drummer. And uh, but the rest of the stuff, which is majority, is actually by Patrick Johansson, who was the former drummer of of Ingrid Malmsteen. Wow, and wow. also, I think he, at one point he played with with Wasp, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Nice, nice. And and right now he's actually he's in the uh, what is it called uh, the Swedish power metal band. I I forgot the name, uh, you know, but uh, he's also very active. So he's an excellent drummer too. And I kept his drums because there was nothing to to, to change, you know. And um, and like I said, the bass player of the that it's currently currently member of NZM, it's Robert Klingenschmidt, which is brother of Kevin. He also played only No Innocence. Oh, Everything wow. else was was played by Denver Cooper, who is on, on guitar, and um, and then I I have uh, Jay Motion and um, who else? Uh, do we have anybody else? No, that's it. That's oh, wow. it. Yeah. So um, as far as the record um, cover that you said was designed by Mark Lopes, um, did Mark kind of just come up with that on his own? Did you give him an idea of what you wanted the album cover to look like? How involved were you with um, the concept? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. I, I sent I sent him, but, but then he surprised me with, uh, you know, whatever I sent him. This was like about 15 times better. You know, I was like, oh, my God, he's sure. me away. It's really good. And you I, know, but I yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, I, 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 I was strict. I wanted, I know exactly what I want, you know, and yeah. this was... Basically, it's better than than I, what I was expecting. I really, I'm really happy with the. With That's the great to hear because it's almost like you know you have you have a certain idea in your head what you want it to look like, and then you get yeah. that album cover and you hold it like like this is my baby. This is what I, what the band created, and that's Correct. exactly you know like you said even better than I envisioned. <laughs> yeah, I I just want to. We actually this was all done here. You can see this is my studio. Uh, we are right now in here. I don't know how much you can see, but this is, um, you know, uh, beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that's like a little mixing board, you know. The, this um, um, old, old, old stuff that I have, and this all basically was all done here. But um, 
the mixing and mastering was done by, by Keith Rose, who was oh. also engin sound engineer and um, uh, for, for many, many years for most of most successful Ingwe albums. And uh, he worked in a famous Criteria studio in Miami. Wow. And one, I think he mixed one album with uh, 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 Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, when they did something solo. So, okay. so wow. yeah, so I I gave him to, to mix everything. That's why we, we it was a little wait for <laughs> for the album, you know, but, uh, but I think he, he did a great job. Yeah, I, I I totally agree. Now, Tom, um, being the, again that you're a Fire Rock uh, Record Company president, what are, what are you, the label's plans for MGM? I mean, this, this album's coming out, so let's tell people first of all how they can get their hands on the album, and is there a new studio album on the way from MGM, like with, within the next year or so? Would you guys say? Absolutely, absolutely. We we you know we. Um, uh, we're working on. I already have a couple of songs, but uh, I've I've been interrupted with uh, with these tours with Ingwe. Actually, I'm going on one to Europe in three in, in next this Tuesday. Actually, this, wow, this wow. Tuesday. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. We're gonna play on uh, uh, Hellfest in in France. If you know, but that's one one of the famous uh, metal festivals. festivals. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think Metallica is headlining, and it's gonna be Bruce Dickinson band. And many others. I think uh, Avenged Sevenfold as well. Okay, you know. okay. Yeah. I, I only think I know we are, we're going like 5 p.m., but if they're expecting 250,000 people. Yeah. So it's going to be a, a really cool. And um, and also the other festival, I think, uh, in, um, in in Spain, uh, yeah. where we are. Okay. So um, how, how uh, what's the response MGM has gotten so far, Nick? You know, not just here in the States, but kind of, you know, in Europe and around the world. Well, yeah. Well, people, people who who love this music, they they're gonna really love the album and this. It's 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 gonna be great, and I'm expecting to expand, uh, you know, the the bass and everything with with Fire Rock. I'm really happy with uh, with Tom, and Michael. They they're really great guys, and and you know, and we're just gonna expect them expand the market, and uh, you know, expecting more tours, more festivals. You know, and yeah. that's basically bottom line. And and the the new album is gonna fall right after this. And and I think it's cool that you're able to do both MZM and and and, and Ink They Malstein. Of course, like you said, Ink They come, you know, in a way have to come first, but you're still able to do what you do with MZM. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and one thing I'd like to say about it is where it's gonna be. It's gonna be worldwide, everywhere. Walmart, Target, Barnes and Nobles, Tower Records. You'll be able to go anywhere in the world to buy his album. If you're in the Ukraine, you'll be able to buy his CD. You'll be able to buy his vinyl. We're putting him everywhere possible. So we've got we've got some. Uh, don't we have pre-sale links out there right now, Nick? There's pre-sale links that we've been posting and stuff. I mean, the album's got Amazon, obviously. I mean, we've got it everywhere possible. We're trying to cover every place where you can buy us: North America, South America, every continent in the world. You'll be able to buy NZM, and we're going to try to get him some great shows. He's also got a a big radio promotion. Does that starts this week or Correct. next week? This week. We got a big radio promotion, FM everywhere. We're gonna put him out there worldwide, radio wise, you know. So he's we're going for it with him. He's a he's a great guy. He's a, such a talent, such a unique talent. We want the world to know who Nick is. NZM has got some fantastic songs too. And his and, next song is gonna be even better, I would think. And that and that's a great question in this on Tom is um as far as the radio campaign, um what whatever markets or the type of radio stations you see MZM getting played on? Probably mostly hard rock and metal. Yep, that's what we're doing is a metal campaign for him. But he's you know we we, we hope and expect him to get chartered. We think that's how good this is. So he's yeah, starting yeah. off with no innocence this week. And we what's going to happen is once the album releases, he's going to get a big boost on that too. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. really we're we're very excited for him. I'm 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 really also very excited about it and you know, looking forward to it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The the moment arrived, and yes, and the it's record, uh, the the record arrived on time. So I was I was a little bit worried because they gave me window from uh, June 11 to to 28, and I said, "Oh my God, if I'm not here," and trust me, it took me about three hours to pack everything correctly. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, um, yeah, so to, he already has a purchase order in the the places yeah. have already put a purchase order in for his CDs and vinyl. Before it was released, uh, that's a pretty good sign right there. Yeah, I, I think so. Well, well, you know, Nick, um, we we've just um, 
getting to know you the second time we've talked to you and um it will not be the last i'm um, just to let give people something a little more to look forward to nick is going to be um appearing on our july 10th episode of the this is metal show that's the show you did last time with us nick and we're going to have you back to talk all about the new album and so we can't wait by then we'll be able to talk about how the video premiere went and we look forward to talking to you more, even more about your music and your career so take care of my friend and we'll be talking to you a lot more yeah. in the in the new year i promise you in the year ahead nick thank, thank you nick. so much looking forward to see you again july 10. okay thank thanks, you, thank you nick. take care